Hey everybody, it's Sean from Delisted Games taking a look at the trial version of Breach on the Xbox 360. As you can see, it's been extremely removed. Uh, it doesn't even have an icon anymore. But you can play this trial. Unfortunately, you can only be in the matches for an hour in the trial version, and I've already spent about 15 minutes just uh, checking out the game. So I thought I would uh, save the rest for recording. Uh, let me read you a little bit about what I have on the site about this game. This was released um, on Steam and it looks like Xbox 360, same day, January 26, 2011. Uh, Western release, Australia, Europe, North American territories. Let me turn my volume down a little bit. We can stay in the menus as long as we want. And it looks like, is it under character? I'll get back into that in a minute here. Yeah, it looks like you'd be able to earn experience in the trial version of the game. So, very, um, that's, that's cool. You don't just, like, play the trial against some bots and then it says buy the game. You could actually play online with people. It actually looks like this was was an online-only game. There was no, there's no bots. Uh, you can run around in the, in the maps, thankfully, so we'll check out some of those. Um, let me read a little bit more about this game, though. Actually... I was going to record the credits anyways. Oh, okay. That's not scrolling credits, just one screen of credits. Oh, okay, it is fading credits. All right, so this was released in January of 2011 and shut down August of 2011. So it's very short-lived. And one of the reasons uh, is that... Let's see. Breach, I should just read this instead of trying to paraphrase <laughs> reading it in my head. Breach was delisted from Steam and its official servers shut down in August of 2011. It was likely delisted from Xbox 360 around this same time, although I couldn't find um, a, a more accurate date. So it's probably around the same time though, the way that, that this all went down. The game was delisted after Destineer, who had acquired Atomic Games, the developer, in 2005, ceased operating in May of 2011. So Destineer, publisher and owner, so it was like a first party game for Destineer. They shut down in May. Um, an unconfirmed ex-employee of Atomic Games, referring to himself only as Oh Hi Mark, posted to the game Steam Community Forum in June of 2016 to recount some of the history of the studio. It's controversial and unreleased title, Six Days in Fallujah, and how its development led to Breach's demise. As of September 2019, when I posted this on the site, copies of the game could still be purchased on physical media, and some Steam keys might have been floating around out there. Um, and when I was writing this up at the time, last year in 2019, um, there were still periods on Steam where people were playing. And are these credits still going? Yes. Okay. And it, it looks like from the, the trial, I was able to create a match. So if anyone was still wanted to play on Xbox 360, you could. But you would have to have bought this game. You know, you could only play for an hour in the trial. It's not going to help anybody for long. Are we looping the credits, or is that it? There we go. So I believe that director of core technology, Mark Davidson, would be the Mark that is, uh, oh hi Mark. But I don't believe that he confirmed it in that post. And so, let's see, how to play it. This is just the basics. They have a unique active cover system, even though this was years, already years after Gears established cover mechanics. They have, it's kind of interesting, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Of course, there's not, there's no one firing at me to really take advantage of it with, but it's an interesting mechanic. Um, loadouts. And then that's just explanation of all the, the modes that you're used to. HUD is minimal, player health is reduced, and there is no kill camera. So you can't tell where you got killed from. Uh, real quick, the controls here. I've just left it on the basic ones. Pretty basic settings. And the credits. We already looked at that part. 
All right, hopefully this is not too loud. Uh, for posterity, here's uh, how the leaderboards look right now. That is an awful lot of experience for those top three players. Uh, let's see. We can scroll through these real quick. You can just look this up online. Unfortunately, I will not be unlocking any of these in the trial. Not even sure that the Xbox 360 allowed for that. I think you would have to buy it in order to get the achievements. And if you go to try and buy the full game, you come up to a screen that won't let you do anything. So, character. You got your different loadouts. There's five classes, it looks like. Um, weapons. A lot of weapons. Okay. A handful of weapons with a lot of... Uh, add-ons to them. So all we have is the M4A1 with the grenade launcher. But you could get a better sight if you just like shooting. You could go for sights. Although this game is uh, really about destruction, as we'll get into. Perks. The only thing we have unlocked is increased stamina. Let's see. Explosive radius of all shockwaves. That seems useful for a game like this. Reduce headshot damage. Removes half of the player's health, but, but will return double the XP. Wow. So, I'm not going to go one by one through all these for every class, but you can see a decent amount of perks. Um, available credits cost. Okay, so you do have to play for a while and earn some kind of currency in order to unlock them. So, it might be a while before you could get that customized with some of these things, but... Uh, let's see, a registered trademark dragon skin. I'm, I've, I've never heard of dragon skin before, but apparently that's a real body armor company. Um, sticky bombs. Motion sensors. Sound sensors. There was a, where'd it go? Sonic imager you could see through walls. I believe you can see that in the trailer that's on the site or some of the footage. So even though there are only five classes, there's a lot of variety in perks and gadgets and weapons and add-ons. So it seems like there was a decent amount here. Uh, there are only three character models for each side, but it's kind of cool. You could make each of your classes slightly unique. Oh, no, we already looked at the stats. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a match. I'll just start on the basic one. That's where we would turn on that hardcore mode. And like I said, I only have an hour in this trial. Thankfully, I never played this trial before. I don't know if you delete the trial and download it again if you get another hour. And this map is the one that I feel like was shown the most in, in most of the footage that I came across. All right, so in the trial, we only get riflemen or support. I'm going to go with this one because it's a little easier to blow stuff up. Move out and secure the objectives. Be advised hostiles reported in the area. Securing objective alpha. I'm not going to bother capturing things. I'm just going to show off what this game was uh, known for. So up on the D-pad a couple times will switch us to our grenade launcher. Reloading. This game's got the physics, and that's pretty cool. A lot of physics. It's not 100% like down to every brick. Let me get in here and grab a rocket launcher. Uh, let's see. Shoot that column. So, highly destructible. You can't just, in a lot of cases, um, pin yourself in and hold a place down. Because it seems like you could just... Everything could be destroyed around you. Ooh, even that cover can be destroyed. Wasn't sure about that. Can I squeeze through that hole, though? 
No, not quite. But you could. Oh, well, that's going to... You could blow yourself a little hole behind their staircase. You can't blow up the stairs. Uh, and then sneak in amongst the chaos. Ooh. Let's go up here. Mm. There's a lot of uh, unfinished roofs. See, so we can blow that open, but we probably can't blow up the entire roof. Yeah, there's there's only so much destruction that you can get into. We couldn't bring this whole building down. Unfortunately, that would be cool. Uh, let's see if I can get another... Any other ammo out here? Oddly, though, you I, I could not get one of these trucks to blow up. You can blow up everything else, but... Forget about trucks. You can't blow those up. I need um, another ammo. There we go. Can we shoot that light? Up? Oh gosh, that's still the grenade launcher. Yes, you can shoot the light out. You don't have to shoot it out with a rocket, necessarily. This metal bridge looks like... Oh, you can blow it up. That's pretty good. Can I make this jump, though? Ha! Huh. Alright. Objective Charlie secured. Reloading. So there was kind of the big deal that they would show off in a lot of the demo stuff. You can just blow a building out from under somebody, and that is pretty cool. And it doesn't even take an explosive to do it. Well, maybe the... I was playing with the other class and the shotgun. Oh, nope. You can do it with a machine gun. Don't even worry about it. And while it's neat, I feel like you would pretty quickly figure out where to not be. You know, like, it seems like you can't blow these corner pillars out, so I always fall back to that area. Uh, let's see if we can shoot something from farther away. Yeah! Debris! I do love some good physics. Whoa, okay. Well, I took out the whole... <laughs> Did I take out the whole roof? Wow. Wow. Okay. Shoot a rocket. Get inside an enemy's uh, base and shoot a rocket. That'll clear out most of their cover. <laughs> Guy camping out in that little shack? Forget it. Blow it up. <gasps> what? Oh. I guess fire killed me. Deploying reinforcements. All right. Well, let's try the shotgun guy. He has some satchel charges. And keep in mind, I have the perk. I think it's on both classes uh, for increased stamina for running. And I'm still moving this slow. Can I blow out this wall with a shotgun? Yup, sure can. Wow. <laughs> I just, uh, you know, blow a little kill hole through the wall. It's pretty cool stuff. There we go. Stay away from the fire this time. Uh, you can fall and die in the big hole. You can probably also get blasted down there. There's probably some explosive damage, like shockwave, knockback. Let's get up here to this big mounted machine gun. Or was that in a different map? That was a different map. All 
Are these explosive? They're not red. Nice. Well, they're physics. -y. Is there a mounted machine gun somewhere? Yeah, there's one. Let's get up here and rip up some stuff. Yep, brick by brick. I'm taking this building apart. That's pretty cool. No, you cannot blow up the ammo resupply stations. I could not blow that up. Can't tell if that changed at all. Okay, not so much stuff to shoot from this one. Can we take out these pillars? Well, sure enough. Guy above you? You think there's a guy camping above you? Take the whole floor out. Oh, out of ammo, though pretty good oh, oh and then the physics stuff flops around for a while awesome can i do the same thing with the mm. yep hello any ammo in here what not so much Uh, right, um, ch 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 satchel charges. I don't know if you can remotely detonate these, but you sure can shoot them. And once the dust settles, it blew up like half of this building. Let's put one inside and see what it does. That'll work. Where did I put it? Oh, gosh. Not as explosive as shooting a rocket indoors. Still pretty good. Um, and you also have some smoke, smoke grenades. Toss them some smoke. And they, like, kind of realistically take a while to get going. Uh, no alternate fire on the pistol. Wow. Takes a lot more fire than the shotgun. So, of course, in, in the, this mode, it's obviously capture a bunch of control points. I got one more. Uh, can I blow anything up here? Oh, that sounded crazy. Yep, no taking cover there. Oof. Oh, speaking of cover, run up here, click the right stick in. Well, I thought. Yeah, it, okay, it did it. There we go. So you get this third person camera when you're stuck to cover. And then you you don't hold left trigger to aim down sights, you lean out around. You can kind of quick fire, it's like quick aim, but from third person. And then if you hold aim down sights, then you can aim down sights. You let go of either and you snap back behind cover. It's kind of cool. Um, It's cool in the way that it makes it harder to aim while you're behind cover, which I feel like would be, it, it's a little more realistic, but it makes it a little bit more challenging to stay behind cover. Uh, but it also seems a little finicky. Like that just, eh, it doesn't feel great. Our, our unsnap. That's the other thing. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, let's go check out another map or two. See what else we can blow up. Let's go with this one. Yeah, I, th I feel like they it, the game got cut short because of the publisher folding and Atomic Games getting that flack for, for what, six days or five days in Fallujah? Six days. But this probably could have gone on a little bit longer. Move to objectives and eliminate threats. We'll advise further instructions. Out. Back when I wrote about this, there were still some active games going on on Steam. And apparently they could be going on on Xbox. Also, if you know you still have this game and want to arrange with people. I do appreciate the destruction. <laughs> I didn't make it. That's definitely how I would sound if I fell off of a into a ravine. Just a good uh. Alright, I'm gonna use these satchel charges and see if this truck will is actually destructible. It really should be. But it's not. Invincible truck. How about that? That looks kind of destructible still. Can I throw these? No. This all seems like it could be blown up. Let's see if I can knock it out from under myself. Never mind. Yikes, that sound. No, can't be destroyed. I'll bet this building can, though. I'm just gonna get down here and do a little remodeling. Yikes! That more wood fell out of that building than it was made with. No more machine gun for you. Wow. All right, gimmicky, but I could still look at that for a while. <laughs> How destroyed can we get this thing? Ah, sound effect, though. That's something. Ooh, so is that fog. Yikes. Oh, no. All right. Cursed bridge. Thing we can tear up here. Uh, well, it's just kind of freestanding. Yeah. Aw, that's unfortunate. Hmm. That'd be cool if it was like Red Faction in it. You take out the foundation and it actually all goes down. Mm, tough to shoot that bridge out from here. Okay. They don't put much fun stuff in the path of those gun emplacements. Let's try and get to one more objective and then I'll check out another map.
Oh, wow. Wow, that's a that's a pathway I'd try and take out right away. All right, way over there. Wow. <laughs> Get hit in the head with debris from over here. What else can we shoot? What is, did I shoot right through two open windows? Okay, it's just not rendering that far out. Probably on PC, not on Xbox. Like, uh, that's probably too far away, right? Yeah. Oh, please. Surely this bridge would be the first thing destroyed every match. It's one of the first things I'd go for. No? We're at a... No more rocket launchers. I don't know. This probably didn't directly inspire Rainbow Six Siege, but it's it's got a little bit of that vibe. Like you don't you don't know which wall or ceiling is completely safe. Wow, really? That's all it blew out. I don't know what I'm carrying. Oh. Uh, you should move back a little faster. Okay. Just got remote, or er, time charges. Wow, that ground. Oh, it's because I can't go over there. No more grenades. Okay, okay. Enough with this map. Let's try a different map. Capture and hold. Strategic locations. What a crazy mode. It doesn't seem like there's that much uh, unique in the modes either, but <clears throat> at least it does have, what, six different modes? I'm going to go with the shotgun again. Move out to secure the objectives. Be advised hostiles reported in the area. Hmm. I, I can't aim low enough to destroy the bridge. Explode those boxes, though. You know, it just, it feels pretty good. Oh, what can we blow up in here? Whoa, kind of everything. Oh, you do have a melee also. The missile is ours. Launch. Are there any other buildings suspended over things? Do you know this map doesn't look that much different from the other ones? still pretty good and outside of siege i can't i don't play a lot of first person shooter multiplayer shooter military combat type games but i can't think of anything else i've seen that's that has destruction like this what was there battlefield bad company is that the other one everybody loves not saying that i don't it's just not really ever played a lot of it
let's see. That just drops it, right? <gasps> I can take it with me. I really did not expect to be able to shoot these columns out. That is good stuff. Whoa, look at that one. It's still standing. It's still structurally sound. Nope, no, it's not. All right, no outdoor parties for you. Stay inside. These boulders really look like they should move too, or at least be destructible. But no, you can't destroy nature. Oh. Ah, I can't. Can't get a shot at it. All right, there's also, there's a jump but no mantling, unless there's a Y button. Y is supposed to be interact, but that's just for turrets, it looks like. Whoa, okay. Shoot the missile, shoot the missile. Too bad, vehicles indestructible. Well, there's like nothing that, that's going to blow up over this way. Oh, I should have saved the rocket. Only two. Whoa. Got to jump way early. I guess, yeah, it's possible to get up in here. But can you take cover? No. So kind of useless to get up into one of these trucks since you can't snap to cover. Well, I guess you could duck. Make sure you take care of that, though. All right, uh, next map. Getting low on time. All right, this one is snow. There can't possibly be any, oh, well. Before I say it must look a little different. I guess it's just showing screens from the other maps. Yay! A different color palette. No one needs radios. Wow. Wow. Why did we decide to fight at the top of a mountain? Okay, here we go. Mm, can I blow up that tower? See, if I was to run in here and take cover and be like, huh, I'll just hold up in this place, I, I would just be expecting the ground to get shot out from under me. I'd shoot it out from under myself. <laughs> Such a bad shot. I knocked the ground out from under myself. Mm hmm. Aw, I'm out. <clears throat> no, can't. Oh, okay. Nope, not taking that thing down. Hmm, it's the, it's the air filter. Uh, please. Wow, that was totally gone.
you should really move the propane tank out of the the bed of your truck before you start working on the engine. Everybody knows that. The truck will be fine. It's invincible. It's a vehicle. I do like that you get some cover, though, when you blow up a wall. There's an awful lot of smoke. It gives you plenty of time to, to go hide. What? All right. Oh. Metal siding can't be blown up, except on the second floor? Go figure. Securing objective problem. This is apparently the place to hold up. Okay, only the second floor can be destroyed. Yeah, hey, I got it. I swear that more wood fell out of that bridge than it was made of. I'm dry. Oop, little high. Little low. Little something. I guess that was the first grenade finally hitting the ground. Oop, don't jump there. You can probably shoot it also. I was behind you the whole time. Whoa! Middle of the sandbags is the place to shoot it at. Wow. Well, I blew up something. All right, well, let's take a look, I think, at our last map. Nocturnal. Familiar, but at night. I shoot the bridge out from under myself. Okay, get some more shells in there. Kinda can. I guess you're not going to take a couple shots and jump in on somebody quite so easily. Uh, but what if I just, uh... Smoke out! Not the smoke. If I just did one of these. This? Okay. You'd think I could shoot at a target, but I am not used to an Xbox 360 controller. These days. Yeah! Forget your patio! Is it not hitting that bridge? Oh, it kinda is. Kinda. Oh, what? Oh wow, two gun emplacements over here. Hope nobody's in the outhouse. Is 
So we can't take a look at the other classes or any of the other weapons or perks. But I feel like it would have been a decent mix for a little while. Um, I don't know how much this game cost originally. It was 2011, so I feel like 15 to 20 at least. Let's see if I can get two of them. Yep, that bridge is done. I would totally be the person to put some charges on something and then camp out and wait for someone to try and run across it. This wouldn't have killed them. Well, I guess the explosion probably would have killed them. Good lord, we're in the galaxy. But basically, all of these maps kind of feel the same. Uh, same kind of tunnels items. This is, really doesn't feel that much different from one of the first maps that, that we played on. Right, stats. There we go. Finally, I got a number on the board. Oh, thank you. They knew where to spawn me at. Apparently a ghost wall right here. Gee, I wish there was a bridge right here. So nice. I won't say it wouldn't ever get old. But I probably would have played that for a while. Alright, well, I'm going to save my 15 minutes in case there's ever a reason to load up this trial again. Thanks for watching and taking a look at Breach from 2011. There's another Breach that was also delisted, so on the site it's Breach 2011. It's got that guy over there on the side, I think is the cover art. No, oh, a guy just like that guy. Thanks for watching. Uh, take a look at the YouTube channel for more. Uh, leave a comment, request something. If I've got access to it, um, I'd give it a shot if I can get it downloaded or loaded up on an old console. Thanks again.